Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. Just wanted to do a little video of some treasures that I found and to say hi to everybody. Hi my lovelies, my buddies. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You know, if you like what you see, subscribe. Then hit that, that notification button so you know when I go live when I sell these beauties. And um, yeah, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button. You know, um, I'm, I'm always looking for great subscribers. And I have a really good group and everybody seems to love each other. And, and we just have a lot of fun, you know? It's all about fun. And, you know, getting some really good bargains. And, um, anyway, it's Juneteenth today. And uh, there wasn't any postage. There's no um, postal service going out today. So, uh, everybody's packed and ready to ship. Um, but, of course, I couldn't ship out today. So, just to let you know, everything's going to go out on the... 20th and it should have it by the weekend so check your mailboxes frequently anyway I um have been kind of on a journey of cleanup and and that kind of thing um and um uh, I have been finding some beauties um I found this one I did a short on it it's a um Carolyn Pollock it's from her American West collection. And she still sells this ring online for $125. Um, I got it in a lot. But yeah, it is. And it is a, what size is she? It fits my ring finger beautifully. I'm in love with this ring. I, I just can't get enough of it. I don't know why. It just, it, it fits good. It feels good. And it's... This is the interesting part. Okay, so it's sitting at just above a seven. But my finger is a size seven and a half. But look at it, it just goes right on. And then what I also like about this ring, it appears to be floating on my finger because it's the design is just so that it covers the side bands. So you can't tell. I mean, it just, it's just floating there and it sits so perfectly on the hand. Um, I, I love it. And for some reason, cause this is a size, I, this is my, this finger is over a seven and a half or a seven, excuse me. And it fits like a glove. That's why, I mean, I don't want to take it off. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I, I, I do want to sell it. Um, but uh, it just, it looks, I just hope it's not going to be one of those rings that I regret. Sterling silver, turquoise, um, petty point. And the other thing I love about it is the, the quality of the turquoise. Now, I went on her website and uh, nowhere on it does it say it's from Sleeping Beauty. But other people that are trying to sell this ring for more than 125 um, are claiming it's Sleeping Beauty. So I'm not gonna say which mine it comes from. I don't know enough about the turquoise mines to say, and, I, and I'm not gonna misrepresent it, but it is just beautiful. It's perfection. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave it on for now. Oh my goodness, she's so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I also have a pair of Silpata earrings. These are so nice. I wore them yesterday only because I wanted to see how they fit and felt and all that. But look at how long these are and the Silpata marks in there. Right. Yeah, you can see it right there. I don't know what the stone is. It is a stone, but 
you know, I'm, I'm leery of certain stones if that's maybe a dyed halite or if it is in fact turquoise. But, um, you know, I, I kind of know what a stone is, but I don't know, you know, turquoise. And I'm not gonna, there's no really no way to test it other than, you know, horrible ways to test these. I mean, you could test for how light by taking a, you know, acetone to the, to the piece, but look at this. The only place I can test it probably would be back there. Uh, I could see what dyed halite looks like if there's like, you know, whites on the edges and, you know, it, I don't know. I guess I could research these more to see if they use dyed halite on these or if they used, in fact, turquoise size, length. I love the style of earring. It's, it's fabulous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like two and a half inches long. Look at that. Two and a half inches. Okay, so I do have these guys. I'm just put them aside because I'm looking for, I think I left the um, envelope for it somewhere else. But we'll just continue on. I also have some treasures that I found from the garage that I want to um, share with you. Hopefully they're in here. Let's hope. I think, I think they might be, or they might not. Oh yeah, they are. They're in here. Treasures from the garage. Okay. This is a cinnabar piece. really pretty. Yeah, some of the little threads are coming loose a little bit, but snip it. But it's just, look at that. It's so nice. And then look at the clasp. I think it's from the 70s, 1970s to be specific. The cinnabar has been around for a while. It's just so nice. And of course, this, this is probably silk. I don't know for a fact, but it feels like it. So that's a nice one. I'll let you take a closer look. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I did look, and there are the um, the layers where the lacquer has been applied, and then it's carved. I think I have a tray that I'm using. So, yeah, I plan on bringing these items to um, my sale on Sunday. I don't know what the date is. It's this coming Sunday. Wednesday the 19th, Thursday the 20th, Friday the 21st, Saturday the 22nd. So June 23rd is my target time. Okay, so there should be another one of these in here somewhere. We'll look for it. All right, look at these. These are these are garage finds. <laughs> and I'm not talking garage sale. I'm talking from my garage where I used to do my videos and my sales. But yeah, these are all the um, the vintage rhinestone. I did have to unload something that was missing um, a stone. But isn't that the sweetest? Look at those marquee cuts. And they're kind of pushed off to a slant. There's the clasp. Some of the clasps have more decoration. This one, this stone right here looks like there might be some damage to the foil in the back, but you know, they've been worn. Look at this bracelet. This is missing a um, safety chain. And how does it open? I don't know how this opens. Oh, does it open like, it has to open from this side, right? You think that it, oh, I'm thinking that it's broken. There's probably a push button. So it's quite possible this is probably, I mean, the. All the stones were there too. Oh my goodness. I thought this was gonna be okay, but it's not. 
I thought all I'd have to do is put a safety chain, but I think the push button's missing. So we'll put that aside. Um, here's another beautiful bracelet. And look at it. They open like that. Look at that. Look at that. I like it. Let's measure that sweet pea. Well, my brother was here for a couple of weeks, and today he went back to Korea, seven inches. He went back to Korea. And he, um, to be, you know, he came by, he came back just for a couple of weeks for some tests and some doctor's appointments. So we had his, him here um, for a little bit. So that was nice. Here's another beautiful necklace. I love these. This one actually has, um, the finish on the extender, that larger rhinestone. These are all prong set. <clears throat> this one looks like it might have a dark stone there, but you know, you can probably see something with your naked eye that you do, and then you, you bring it to um, the camera and the camera doesn't pick it up. So let's see. Just adjustments here. Anyway, so, yeah, these are all chokers. You know, and you can, you can um, send me a timestamp or mark the, the um, timestamp in the comments. What's nice about doing that is that it turns it blue if you put a timestamp. Then I can go right to it, or you just email me either way. Janda Panda at Comcast.net. It's about 15 inches. Just a lovely, and these are stuff that, you know, that have been in my garage for a year. I mean, I can't sell anything if I don't present it, right? Here's a pretty bracelet. Oh, that's nice. And it does have a safety chain. And it's one of, oh, this one's broken too. Oh, dang. Yeah, the little tab that was right there is broken. That's a shame because it's in beautiful condition with the marquee cuts. That's too bad. Let's see if I can find any more broken items. What do you think? These are Monet's. Beautiful stud earrings with the larger uh, glass. And they have the Monet backs to them. So that's cool that they have the, you know. I normally don't like to sell, I mean, I like to sell earrings, but it's hard, they're a harder sale on, you know, especially the smaller ones. They're a harder sale on um, YouTube. But I like to show them to you here. And I don't know if uh, Monet actually used Swarovskis, but I know a lot of them did. Um, I suppose I could look up, you know, type in Monet and Swarovski and see if there's a, you know, a correlation. But yeah, there they are. Nice large stones. Here's a pretty V. Love these. And this is actually... Is it adjustable? I don't think so. But there you go. This one has a V to it. Pretty, pretty costume. Vintage costume. Let's see what else I can find that doesn't have what it's supposed to have. <laughs> Here's another lovely. I like these. I like the simple ones, but I also like these kind that, you know, branch out like stalactites or snowflakes or. But, yeah. 
this one actually goes like that. So there's the center one. The main attractions right there and then it goes like that. So you can see how it gradiates to the larger stone or the larger panel or pendant. Okay, please don't be broken. Please don't be broken. All right, so, so far so good. Everything is there. And yeah, you know, bracelets take a beating and it's not their fault. It's not the person who's wearing it their fault. It's just, you know, how they're made. This one appears to be functioning and it appears to have all of the necessary um, prong set stones. This is actually nicely made too. Can't complain. I like these. Yeah, I've been cleaning out my garage. Sandwich bag by sandwich bag. So it's about seven inches. Snaps securely. There's this. See this ring? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. And it it feels like I'm wearing air. It's it's so I don't know. You just you think about it. I mean you don't think about it actually. This is a nice tiered piece. This one to me looks like it's got a darker stone there. But, um, you know, it's going to happen with uh, some of these. Um, they just start to degrade and lose their silver on the back of these rhinestones. And uh, that's why you need to store them in a, you know, inside of a house, not in a garage. <laughs> like I did. <laughs> I honestly did not know that these were there, but... I was going through the bags and I'm going, oh wow. Yeah, this is this is a nice one. It's another bracelet. Oh, that's probably a seven prong set rhinestones. Very happy with this one too. Fold over. It's cute because this one, the clasp, has rhinestones on it as well. About a seven inch. Now, actually, it's pinched metal to make it look like rhinestones. But still, it's attention to detail, right? Right. There we go. Last little rhinestone nugget. I like this. I guess I should, you know, you just have to think about, you know, the companies that actually made this. And I'm guessing from the 50s, you know, post-World War II when they these were popular and um, they were able to get metal. This is, looks tiny, doesn't it? Looks small. Let's measure it. It's about 14 inches. I don't know what you guys need to come to be comfortable. Maybe 14 and a half inches. I need a little bit of room. So. And these are earrings and I was intrigued by the backs because they don't have the normal costume backs to them, but they're not marked sterling. And these might go in an earring lot, but let's see. Well, okay, that part right there is not sterling, but this is not magnetic. So I'm, I'm, well, I'm thinking I'm going to test them, but see these guys right here, they're not prong set, so it makes me think that they're, you know, costume, but I'll find out for sure. I will find out for sure. Put those right there. Let's dig in some more. Yeah, more garage pieces. 
I'll go through these real quickly because there's some other fun things that I am going to put this away in my tray for the weekend. Ow! Oh, that got me. Well, these I can't sell because I do believe these are ivory, but they could be walrus tusk too because there's, um, you know, the, the North Antarctic folks are uh, scrimshawed onto these salt and pepper shakers. And those are tiny holes, let me tell you. This is one single earring and it's probably something that could be made into, it's marked 925, but it's probably something that could be made into a, a pendant or a charm. It's tiny. Let's put that there. Look at these fun guys. Let's make sure we have everything here. I've got these, ABs. couple of stone pieces here. This is a uh, sterling. I think it came off of an earring and I believe that to be some sort of, I don't know if it's turquoise or not, but it is marked on the back. S-T-E-R-L-I-N-G. So, you know, I think that means it's older than 925 marks. Okay, so let me see. Okay, some kind of uh, quartz maybe. Right there. Yep, I've been, you know, learning all about rocks. I'm thinking this is an agate. And I'm also thinking that this is either, either jet or some sort of lava stone. This is really smooth though. Very smooth, but very cold. And these are all um, silk knotted but I'm thinking this is an agate and it's a really, look at how thick that stone is. Nice slab of agate. Um, this is kind of lightweight, so I don't know if that's jet or not. I have to figure out what jet is. I am still, everybody still learns. I just find it fascinating, fascinating, fascinating. This is a cord that I, robbed from a pendant so I'm going to hang on to that because that is really cool it's it's faux suede but it's it's a nice piece so I will probably have um something to put on that a seahorse a vintage seahorse I don't know if somebody might be interested in something like that I just didn't want to get rid of it quite quickly this is lightweight, so I'm thinking this is a dipped seahorse. Um, I'm thinking that's uh, a seahorse that's been dipped in something. I don't know. It just feels like one of those that you would see at a, you know, a souvenir stand. Okay, I'm going to test these. These, um, well, let's test them now. Yeah, they're not, oops, those are magnetic. Okay, that's magnetic, but I liked that. But it, I only have one. <laughs> but it's not sterling. So I'm going to test these. Laurel birch earrings. Classic fans. I'm going to test these for sterling as well. They feel like it. It might be another piece of ivory. So I can't sell that. Beautiful gold tone tassel. Oh, wait, look. Oh, my. I have a pair of sterling earrings. Fabulous. Okay, so this is confusing me. The chain I need to test, but parts of this, look at it, is not sterling. So I'm thinking like this part's not sterling, but this part might be. I don't know. 
Um, it's odd. I expect this part to be, it says sterling right there. So I am going to, well, I don't know if I can test the chain, but I can test part of this. I'm thinking parts of this little figure is not, and I'm pretty sure that these are some sort of stone. So I'll do that. This beautiful AB necklace, choker. And this, of course. And what's in here? And then I've got a whole other box next to me of goodies. Yeah, this has AB crystals and faux pearls. I don't know why I kept this out, but um, it's interesting. It's a nice layering, layering piece. put these back that I'm not testing and I'll put the testing pieces in here oh I know these are probably sterling but I'll test them anyway those are cool This is the envelope for this. I don't know if I want to put it back. <laughs> okay, this one says it's from the Kingman Mines, but again, I have no way to authenticate. This is, you can Google Lens it if you want. What happened? Wait, what? Oh no. Oh, low power mode. Okay, sorry you guys. Um, I just, I don't know for how long that I have been on lower, low power mode, but um, I don't know how much time I have. This might go out, but this is from, it says it's from the Kingman mine, the turquoise. It's a gorgeous piece, and this is by Whitney Kelly. And apparently these pieces are worth a lot. This is a huge hunk and a thick hunk of turquoise. I mean, it's it's about an inch. And it requires a beautiful chain. But that's a beautiful um, Whitney Kelly pendant. Very nice. in the box. I always like to know what's in the box, right? Oh, this is, I was thinking about giving this to, oh no, this is um, tiny, super itty bitty. And who makes it? There's a, is there a maker? Yeah, it's a Silpata. Got another Silpata. Very tiny, but it's beautiful. It's asymmetrical. So, you know, you have this little satellite right there, and then you have the main stone there, and of course the Silpata mark is back here. Very cute, very sweet. Better write on this Silpata so I don't I can't I don't want to lose it <laughs> this one is a dichroic glass 925 Mexico on a chain chain is sterling the glass is gorgeous so yeah, if I end abruptly, it's only because my battery power went out. Somebody called this black opal online and all the, you know, fossil opal, but I'm pretty sure it's glass. <laughs> okay. 
kind of a di either a diacrylic or an art glass, but it's beautiful, like beautiful cabochon. Look at that. It's just amazing. It's on this nice long chain. Here's some more. More turquoise. This is just a little turquoise vintage bracelet. But this is nice. This does have a mark on the back. I'll take it out. Looks vintage to me. It says it is 925, and then there's some other letters. Just beautiful. Just a simple nugget, turquoise nugget bracelet. Not putting all of the stuff that I'm selling in one spot. So on Sunday, all I have to do is grab it. And what did I do? <laughs> oh, this is cute. This is an inlaid sterling pendant. See it? It's small, but it's got like opal in there. I can see opal and other goodies in there. Tiny bit of opal. Moving right along. Yeah, somebody had this Carolyn Pollock online for $145, but again, you can go straight to her website and you can get it for $125. It is current. So don't fall for that. Keep, you know, you just have to research prices. You always want to get the best price, right? Fetish, cute little birdies, and other such critters. Really nice. Sterling and Mother of Pearl. And the drop is about 12 inches. It's not really something that can just pop over your head, but it's easy on and off. There's the mark. But look at those sweet little babies, those little piggies, I don't know, a parrot, birds, fish. There's a couple of fishies there. Really cute on the liquid silver. Love it. Yeah, I couldn't resist that one. Oh, somebody needs to have that. Here's another gorgeous ring. It's, I should say, sweet, pretty and sweet. Oh, there's something else over there I don't want to forget about. But let me show you this one first. First, I'm looking for a mark. It looks like there's a ring guard in there. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't see a mark. That looks like true turquoise to me. And the size, I'll have to look at it better. Is that a ring guard? It, yeah, there is a ring guard on here. 
Okay, so somebody's got a finger smaller than the ring. That never happens, right? It's like at a six, maybe, six-ish. I like that design. It was just cute. I just couldn't say no to cute, right? Not a chance. There's another, oh, this is pretty. I dropped something. Oh my God, <laughs> you know what I did? I am like sitting on top of a bust. And one of those velvet busts <laughs> on my roller chair. Oh, the poor thing. Did I damage it? Yeah, good shape. Just got trapped. <laughs> Okay, we know you're not sterling. Okay. This thing is so strong, it just kind of gets in the way most of the time. Okay, this I think is a triple strand. Oh, and I think there was a mark on this. On the back of a hooky dookie. Oh my goodness. And this is one that I found in my garage. Fancy that. I always want to call these like Chanel style um, crystals or whatever. Maybe. Um, Swarovski crystals or Austrian crystals, but there's no, I, there's no way for me to tell. I'm going to look at that mark and maybe that will give us some more of a hint. And the mark is right here, right there. Oh, oh my gosh. This is Coro. This is a C-O-R-O -O on it. I've never seen a piece like this with, from Coro before. All right, we know. This is most likely a, a nice vintage piece, but it looks so contemporary. Wow, that's beautiful. Why was it down in my garage? Should be up here and I should be sharing it with my peeps. So that's a surprise. And, oh, this looks ancient. And tiny. Is, you think that's like a child's bracelet? It's very little. And it does have this like mark right there. Super tiny. So it says, Israel silver nine something. It might, it might be 925. It says Israel silver. Um, it's very sweet. It's cute. I mean, look at this. It's not going to, I mean, it's sitting like at a six. I imagine there's probably people out there who have a size six wrist. And those might be some sort of turquoise bead in there. But it's super old and it's super sweet. Look at that. Yeah, not I'm not complaining about it. It's tiny though, not for everybody, right? And I think there's one no. Well oh, wait, one last thing in this box. Oh yeah, there's a couple of necklaces here. I think I'm probably gonna give to one of these to my niece. It's an A, and this I'm going to give to my daughter. It just says mermaid on it, so that'll be nice. Nice little treats for them. And I am don't, oh, is there anything? Oh, yeah, this I, I got today. This will be my last item. Not as exciting as, as this, 
<laughs> but I did get a carnelian set. And, um, you know, I'm not sure if I'm happy about it or not. Let's do something here. I'm probably going to have to test. Yeah, I'll test that for sterling. This doesn't look like it's in super great condition, but it doesn't look like a young young thing either. Well, this, this I believe, is agate. Um, these are the matching earrings. They're not in great shape. One of them is, but the other one is, and I'll show you that in a second. But that is fabulous. Carnelian. And then I'll test this part here, but the carnelian beads. Um, but look at these poor things. It looks like somebody ran over one with a, I don't know, with their car. Because if you look at them together, I mean, I imagine all you just need to do is just kind of tweak that with, you know, some jewelry pliers or something. Anyway. So that's what I have to show you today. Um, we'll see what I can come up with for another day. So yeah, it says on here, carnelian and agate. Um, so that's what's in here. <laughs> but again, I thought I was getting something special and maybe it is special because I just have to do a little bit of research and um, I can go from there. And I will hopefully do another preview video for Sunday. And, um, you know, I don't have a lot of jewelry work to do. And um, maybe find some more goodies. Oh, I do have a crystal lot coming in. I'm really excited about too. Maybe I'll do a video about that. So we shall see. Thank you guys. Mwah.